Hello guys, in this video I am going to talk about all these three algorithms PCA, 2D PCA and 2D square PCA means how we uh, reduce dimension using these algorithms and what problems occurred and how we tackled those problems. So in my video of introduction to PCA we have seen that we can reduce dimension using finding variation in uh, finding direction of maximum variation. If you have not watched that video I provided link in description. So means we are going to find a direction in, in which maximum is very maximum and that direction will be our first principal component or we can say new coordinates or new basis means we have image in our original coordinates or old coordinates and we are going to find uh, um, our new coordinates of that image by uh, dot product of to our new basis system to our uh, original uh, data original coordinates so we have to find a direction of maximum uh, variation and for find maximum variation for find new basis new basis are founded by finding eigenvectors of the covariance matrix of image matrix means we are going to find eigenvectors of our images matrix and means how we can find our images matrix that is different for all the algorithms so we are going to see so in PCA this was our procedure we first uh, converted a single image into a single array our image was of n by n pixels and our array becomes n square cross 1 so our images becomes n square cross t t was, was total number of images so when we find it our co covariance matrix it becomes uh, n square cross n square so we find it a covariance matrix using with the help of SVD but what are the problems with this it was very calculative and not accurate to calculate covariance matrix and eigenvectors of covariance matrix for n square sized image matrix means we have n square dimensions in our original image matrix so when we are calculating our covariance matrix it was not accurate and very calculative so we found it solution is uh, we are we use 2d pca and in 2d pca is based on 2d image matrix rather than 1d vectors so the image matrix does not need to be transferred into a vector prior to feature instruction extraction so we does not converted our image matrix into this like a vector and we directly used our image matrix so in 2d pca our images matrix uh, created like this this was our our first image and n cross n second image n cross n and like last image n cross n and we added all the images like a pile or we can say stacks or like pa papers in a book or notebook so this was our images matrix which we arranged like this and is this image matrix was t cross n cross n where n cross n is dimension of single image and t is number of total images so for this matrix also we find covariance matrix and new coordinate system new basis system so how we find it our image matrix was t cross n cross n we subtracted mean of all images n cross n means we first took mean of all images and we subtracted from all images so then third step was find covariance matrix and we are, I'm going to show you in the next slide how we find it covariance matrix then we find it eigenvector of covariance matrix and those will be new coordinates or new basis sorry those will be a new coordinate system or new basis and we find it new coordinates using multiplying our old coordinates with our new basis system so we find it covariance matrix like this in which we uh, this was our image matrix means single image minus mean of all images and we took transpose of this and multiplied with this single image and mean of all the images and we take some all or or all t images means like uh, this was our image minus mean of all the images and it's take its transpose and multiplied by me image minus mean of all images and we do this for all the images first image second image third image so like by this process we find it our covariance matrix here e is expected value or we can say mean and our covariance matrix will be n cross n so we find it uh, eigenvectors of this n cross n matrix that will be also n cross n and these were new coordinate axis but our it, it it has also dimension n so but our our uh, this matrix will give us eigenvectors and as well as eigenvalues and we have seen that um, let me go to first slide eigenvectors will tell dimension of maximum variation and eigenvalues will tell magnitude of that variation means how much variation in that direction so eigenvalues are very very useful so go back to that slide 
so means do we are going to and draw a graph of eigenvalues and we see that only first few eigenvalues are important means those eigenvalues tells gives a uh, uh, direction of maximum variation and after that eigenvalues keep decreasing and becomes even like uh, almost zero so we are going to choose only few eigen vectors that corresponding to first few eigen values means dimension reduced from n to p and where p is less less than n and for find value of p we find it sum of all the eigen values that will tell all the variation means all the information of that image matrix and we want to at least 90% of information conserved means so we created a sum required a threshold sum which will be s into 0.9 means 90% means of that total sum and we kept adding eigenvalues from starting until we reach that sum so like the total sum was like 100 we this we kept some like this plus this 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 until we reach sum 90 we kept adding and we find it that value of p and we choose that first few p vectors and those will be new coordinate axis so our coordinate axis become p cross uh, n cross p okay so we find a new coordinates usually our new basis will be r n cross p original image is t n cross now we can find new coordinates you multiplying m dot u so m is t cross n cross n and u is n cross p when we multiply m dot u n cross n common and get cancelled so it will be t cross n cross p so our new coordinates will be t cross n cross p where t is total number of images and n cross p is new dimension of image which is less than original dimension n cross n because p is very less less than n but n is still big so this is uh, in called components of one image is still big so this was very this is problem too much components stored even for represent single image that was uh, n cross p so for store even a single image we needed n cross p product uh, components and n is still b so we find it solution in 2d pca we saw it was essentially working in the row direction of image we can also choose the method in the column direction of image in 2d square pca we simultaneously consider the row and column direction so what does this mean we see in next slide so how we find the covariant matrix of 2d pca we find it covariance matrix like image minus image mean into transpose image minus image mean and we took all mean on all images but we know dimension of single image is row cross column we took n cross n but it can also be a rectangle note can also not always be square so if image is a rectangle it will be row cross column so when we take transpose of row cross column it becomes column cross row and column cross row into row cross column will be column cross column so our co coverage matrix becomes column cross column so we are multiplying in row direction and getting a coverage column cross column matrix so we are choosing this method for 2d pca but we can also choose method of row cross row so when we choose this method we find it uh, these new coordinates of n cross p and we find it new coordinates easily m dot u which becomes t cross n cross p okay but we can also choose in column direction means first we uh, image minus image mean into image minus image mean transpose here we are taking this transpose in letter not like here which we taking transpose first so after doing this we uh, take this mean on all images so this becomes our ht here image is row cross column so our ht is a row cross row matrix okay so we are multiplying in column direction so this was our se second method but for 2d square pca we use both methods simultaneously so for this ht uh, uh, matrix we also find eigenvectors and it also becomes row cross row eigenvectors but we only choose starting few q here also according to its eigenvalues and v becomes n cross q eigenvectors so we can now find uh, new coordinates using both vectors like this new coordinates will be v transpose m dot u we know m dot u is uh, dimension of single image is n cross p and it is n cross q so when it take transpose it becomes q cross n so q cross n into n cross p becomes q cross p which is very very less than n cross n means we reduce dimension in both direction row direction and column direction so 
we can't multiply directly we are going to take uh, do this for all the images one by one all t images so after that we get reduced dimension which is very very less than 2d pca and it shows better, better result than 2d pca square so that's all for this video i hope you liked this video so please like my video subscribe my channel thank you very much thank you